When First Republic Bank collapsed earlier this week, some bankers like the head of J.P. Morgan Chase said they thought the worst of the banking crisis was coming to a close. But Warren Buffett said earlier that the banking crisis was not over. He was right. San Francisco-based PacWest Bancorp's shares plunged more and were halted multiple times on Thursday after investors learned the regional bank was considering a sale. While the bank says it has not experienced a high number of customer withdrawals, the news still stoked fears of a potential surge in withdrawals among regional banks. In case you are still wondering why so many banks are failing in the USA, and if Singapore banks could fail too, here is an explanation. As the Federal Reserve tightened monetary policy and raised interest rates to fight inflation, the value of mortgage-backed securities and U.S. Treasury bonds held by banks plummeted. Most bonds pay a fixed interest rate that becomes attractive when interest rates fall, driving up demand and the price of the bond. On the other hand, if interest rates rise, investors will no longer prefer the lower fixed interest rate paid by a bond, thus driving down its price. For some banks, the unrealized losses brought on by the Fed's sudden interest may become actual losses if they have to sell securities for liquidity or other reasons. That was the case for Silicon Valley Bank, when turmoil in the tech world forced many of the bank's customers to withdraw their deposits. Like First Republic Bank, now, Pacific Western Bank lost 20% of customer deposits compared to the end of last year as customers moved their deposits to the perceived safety of larger banks. Bill Ackman wrote. At this rate, no regional bank can survive bad news or bad data as a stock price plunge inevitably follows, insured and uninsured deposits are withdrawn. A study on the fragility of the U.S. banking system published on the Social Science Research Network in March found 186 more banks are at risk of failure. Even if only half of their depositors decide to withdraw their funds. Things apparently still look pretty grim for the U.S. banking sector. However, like I have said in previous videos I have produced. DBS, OCBC, and UOB are not regional U.S. banks. They do not have the problems these U.S. banks have. Although fundamentally sound, this does not mean that Singapore bank stocks could not suffer from a bout of market pessimism. This could see stock prices lower. This pessimism could coincide with what is known as sell in May and go away seasonal pattern. Sell in May and go away is conventional investing wisdom that enjoys some empirical support. However, it doesn't always happen. Well, if it should actually happen this time, it is probably a good opportunity to accumulate stocks of DBS, OCBC, and UOB. Have a war chest ready. I will be buying if the selling happens.